Hey everyone, Percy here, aka Super C. So today I'd like to talk about Studio One, and in particular the Listen Bus in Studio One. I actually have a feature request regarding the Listen Bus. So Presonus, if you're watching, pay attention. Super C. All right, now the Listen Bus in Studio One is a, a new feature or a relatively new feature, which was introduced with the release of uh, version five of Studio One, Studio One Professional. You will not find it in Studio One Prime or Studio One Artist. It is a Studio One Professional only feature. Um, but what is it? Well. I think Presonus is a bit better at explaining what it is, so let's take a look at the, um, the manual. So a dedicated listen bus is available for monitoring solo signals, which allows you to solo individual channels or sources without affecting the cue mix buses. Very important. It can provide a separate audio feed to the control room monitors or headphones independently from the main out channel. When activated, initiating solo and any uh, on any channel sends the solo signal to the designated outs. Now, another um, application for this is how I use it mainly or exclusively up until now. Another potential use is to run a room calibration plugin as a listen bus insert while keeping the main output unaffected. So room calibration plugins such as Reference by Sonarworks or Real Phones by DSonic or something like the NX technology plugins by Waves or something like Mix Checker, you know, plugins like that that kind of manipulate the sound coming from your headphones to make it seem like you're in a much more uh, optimized listening environment. So for example, Sonarworks. Now Sonarworks have created different profiles. So kind of optimization profiles for many, many different types of headphones. So they know that if you're using this type of headphone, they're going to apply a certain profile. You know, based on the characteristics of that particular headphone, they're going to make some changes to try to emulate a, a uh, optimized listing environment. And that of course can be very, very useful for mixing and mastering music. Now, typically we would put these kinds of plugins on the mix bus and that's fine. I mean, we've been doing that for years. The problem is, and it may not sound like a huge problem. It even isn't really a huge problem, but still it can be very annoying that when we have these plugins on the mix bus, you know, it's fine when we're listening to our mix, we can make changes and so on. But once we uh, render out our song, once we bounce it as a WAV file, for example, we tend to forget it's on there. And we don't want that because we don't want the, the effects of those plugins to be printed in the song itself. I mean, we only use those plugins for listening to help us with the mixing stage. But once we're done mixing, we want to take them off and then render out that song without the effects of those plugins in the song itself. Now, the great thing about the Listen Bus, or one of the great things about it, is we can put these plugins, these room calibration plugins, on the Listen Bus. So when we're listening to our mix, you can hear the effects of those plugins in the mix. But once we are rendering out our mix, you know, once we're exporting our mix, again, as a waveform, for example, Studio One will actually ignore everything that goes on on the Listen Bus. You know, so you don't have to think about it at all. Now, another thing we can do, if your audio interface allows it at least, uh, for example, we can route the listen bus to our headphones and then simultaneously route the mix bus to our monitor speakers. You know, so we can switch back and forth between the two without having to worry about switching on or switching off these room calibration plugins. So, yeah. I don't want to exaggerate, but I really think that the Listen Bus is an amazing feature. Now, another great feature of Studio One is the project page. Now, for those of you that don't know, the project page is kind of an entire mastering suite built into the program, a mastering suite built into the DAW itself. Now, I'm not going to get into detail, but it is an amazing feature. And to this day, I don't know of many other DAWs that have that that feature built in. So I really appreciate it. But here's the thing, 
and please correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, the listen bus is not featured on the project page. And that to me is, uh, I don't know, I mean, if there is one area where the listen bus would really make a difference, where it really would be useful, it would be the project page. I mean, yes, of course, also in the mixing stage, but certainly also in the mastering stage, you know, and I just really do not understand why it's not there. So it's, it's quite disappointing, actually, that it's not there. I mean, even from the point of view of a programmer, which I'm not, but I would think, I mean, if you're technically able to create the listen bus on the song page, then how difficult really would it be to create one on the, on the project page? Come on. So here is my request. pre -sonus, listen up. Um, I really love Studio One. I've been using it as my main DAW for quite a few years now. I'll probably be using it for some years to come also. But please add the listen bus to the project page. Come on, guys. So that's basically all I wanted to say for today. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.